Here we are in your favorite city in setting next to the Roaring Fork River. Tell me a little bit about how we met, what took place, and what's transpired in your life in terms of health. Um, Calvin and Curtis, some friends of ours, brought you to the house. And I looked at your product. I was just starting to get into how energy medicines work. And I was just starting to learn about it. So I was looking for a product that actually had similar characteristics of what you brought to me. And so I looked into it and I decided I'd try it. And now I've been on it for eight months, seven months? I don't know. I don't know, six, seven months, something like that. And I love it. I take it every morning. I mix it with water and I just drink it as the day goes on. It gives me energy. It fills me up so it makes me feel full and I'm content and I've noticed a huge increase in my uh, energy. I've lost probably close to 56 pounds and um, I feel really good. You're a doer. I'm a doer. So you started studying nutrition and when I chatted with you on the phone, your background, you had come to this position. Right. Then suddenly what I was showing made sense to you? Yes. Different than... Extreme sense. Because I... Different than everything else you'd looked at. Yes, because the supplements are just difficult, no matter how you look at it. So a change of eating habits included? Oh, yeah. After I started taking it, it was a lot of eating changes. I stopped eating gluten, and I stopped eating sugar, and I did intermittent fasting. Mm -hmm. I did 18 hours with six hours of eating, and I used to plan my meals out just perfect so that there was like a like something excited about. And I just started doing that and believe it or not, I lost my weight in the winter time too, which people don't do. Not in Glenwood. Not in Glen not anywhere. People don't lose weight in the winter. It, it's difficult to lose weight in the winter time. So was it hard? No, it was the easiest thing I've ever done. And you've done a few of these? I've done many, many diets. I've, I was a yo-yo dieter. I know what that means. So how's your, you know, how's your attitude in life and that's the key to this thing is to me anyway has there been a change in your attitude I think my attitude has always been really good but I think I've elevated a lot as far as my spiritual self and I've just connected with that's why we're here at this park because I've connected with nature a lot so I think just just feeling not sick all the time from the food you eat is a lot better than feeling sick right because <laughs> feeling sick you can't do everything I mean my energy is you know off the charts I want to talk to you about your mental clarity and your focus do you see a difference in what you're taking here and the minute changes that you've made in your diet plus you know the addition of the fish the effect on your your, well, your, your mental stability yeah, I, I feel a lot more together and a lot more confident. I've, I've also done a lot of spiritual work on oh. myself. Yeah. So I'm pretty much in a really good space. Are you at peace? Yes. That's key, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So here we sit with the future looking at people going, how can I make myself better known to people as to what I did? Because there is a need. Right. So do you see that people are talking to you about how'd you do it? Yes, but I, I've decided just recently that they're going to have to pay me in order if I give them information because when you just give people free information, they seem to devalue it. So there needs to be profit in information? Yes. Unfortunately. And that doesn't bother you? It could you. be even... No, I, I work on a sliding scale now. So... Uh, I figure, you know, if somebody, find, you know, even a dollar, you know, some value to it. If people uh -huh. add value to it, then they have more of a chance of progressing with it. If they don't see value in it, they don't progress very well. well you know, I think that's important for people to understand that you've been down the road, you've learned an awful lot. Right. And, and for them to rummage around in the material that they have, right. maybe we can get them out of that, that, that junkyard. That would be super nice. And into something that works. Yep, I believe, honestly believe that. And the fish, be pure is 
a good product. So it's not only about the information that we shared, but it was the does it really work story. Yeah. I... And that's where we are. Proof look, is in the pudding, right? Look, look at you now. Proof is in the pudding. Everybody, like, some woman told me I was a hottie today. I was like, what? <laughs> Never been called a hottie in my life, I don't think. Maybe when I was younger, when everybody used to think I looked like Bo Derek. Oh, my. Then I was a hottie, but I, I've lost, I, it's probably been 40 years since I've been this small. So we want to reach that stage again where Bo Derek and you get mixed up together? Why not? Why I not? look like Bo Derek right now, don't I? Oh, quite a bit. <laughs> Except for the wrinkles. <laughs> and, and I, the wrinkles are going away though, slowly. And I, and I look like Brad Pitt. Yeah, you look like Brad Pitt and okay. I look like Angie, Jol Angie well, Jolene. Yeah. Laurie, Laurie, such a joy doing business with you. Let's do it, okay? Yep. Bye.